So in today's video, I wanted to share with you two puzzles that I picked up in celebration of my favorite season of them all, which is the fall. Hit the like button if you love fall. And if not, let me know which is your favorite season. Because to be honest, I don't know how anyone could not love the weather getting cooler, pulling out all the hoodies and sweaters, making extra hot cups of coffee because something about it just makes it taste extra special. The changing colors of the leaves on the trees, fall decorations everywhere, pumpkins, apple picking. It's too much fun to me. Especially where I live, I am pretty much surrounded by trees. So everywhere I look, it's, it's so beautiful. So the two puzzles that I wanted to share with you today are from the company Buffalo. This is the first time I bought puzzles from the company Buffalo. So I'm excited to try something new and see what else there is aside from Chaco. Now I looked up Buffalo and they have a really nice website where they have all the puzzles that they carry. They even offer uh, puzzle subscriptions if you're interested in them sending you, sending you a monthly puzzle, which I am looking at, just looking. I'm not gonna buy anything or purchase anything yet. Buffalo is based in the USA and every puzzle is actually manufactured in the United States and it's also made from recycled puzzle board. So not only do they help support American workers, but they also help the environment, which is, you know, a win-win. That's cool. That's pretty good, you know, especially nowadays. Buffalo is also known for their signature perfect snack. Perfect Snap is actually their trademark. And what that basically means is their technique for cutting the puzzle pieces is so precise that every piece will fit absolutely perfectly. It's actually, it's supposed to be guaranteed. So I'm really excited to try this one out, especially with my experience with my last Chaco puzzle, where the pieces kept like popping out every time you would try to put one in or put one out. So... I'm excited to try something new. So the first puzzle that I'm going to be sharing with you today is this one. And this one was actually, I picked this one up from eBay. And this one I paid $13.60 for. And then I saw it on the Buffalo website for $7.95. And then I was like, I could have saved me a few bucks. But anyways, this one is called Supper Call. And this one is from the Charles what, Wisaki. Oh God, I knew I was going to mess that up. Charles Wisaki Collection. And he is known as the master painter of Americana. And this is a 1,000 piece puzzle. It is going to be 26.75 by 19.75 inches when it's completed. Let me tell you how I felt when I picked up this puzzle box. First of all, the image is absolutely beautiful. It very much gave me kind of that Thomas Kincaid artwork feel in terms of like the style in a sense. And you see that woman in the picture? The first thing I thought about was that this just this isn't just any woman. That's me. I'm standing outside, I'm tooting my horn, making sure everybody can hear me so they can come home for dinner. And this is my house. Those are the pumpkins that I just picked from my patch. That's my cat sitting on the bench. This is beautiful. Like I got totally transported into this picture. You have the beautiful sunset. The house is right next to a little river or a stream. That's my boat on the side. Like, I'm in this picture. This is absolutely gorgeous. And I love the style of the house. It's beautiful. It's probably like a farmhouse or something. I love that stuff. And look at all those pumpkins. And she's got, I even have a basket of apples back there too. And some zucchinis, I think that's what that is. But you know, as I said, you know, I, I I get a little crazy sometimes. If I see a puzzle where I just like kind of transport into it, then you know I'm going to buy it. The next puzzle that I picked up, and this one was actually from Walmart. And I paid $11.97 for this one. And this one is from the Terry Redland Collection, who is known as America's Most Popular Artist. I don't know, is there some competition between these two guys on being America's painter or something? But anyways, this puzzle is called Autumn Evening, is 1,000 pieces, and is 26.75 by 19.75 inches when it's completed. And one of the reasons why I felt the need to grab this particular puzzle 
was because, I mean, look at the image. If I were to look out my window, this is a view I would love to see. You know, I mean, minus the fire that's happening on the side there, that stuff kind of makes me a bit nervous if that's happening next to my house. But it's a beautiful house. There's leaves of all colors everywhere. It looks peaceful. This looks like a nice friendly family, you know, helping each other out. It's getting nighttime, so probably the father came home from work and, you know, told the kids, hey kids, come help me pick up the leaves, you know? Help me out for once. I mean, to be honest, a lot of the houses around where I live look like this, you know? So this is not too far from like my re reality. I'm, I just, you know, I don't wear clothes like the lady in the first one. And I don't live in a farmhouse and I, I don't have a garden that produces beautiful, perfect pumpkins and apples and zucchinis. I tried and they got eaten by the wildlife. Anyways, I'm really excited to do both of these puzzles. I don't know which one I'm gonna do first for this season. I'm definitely gonna do at least one of these before the end of this season. Have any of you guys picked up any new puzzles recently, especially ones celebrating the most beautiful season of them all? Again, what's your favorite season? And hit that like button if you love the fall as much as I do. Thank you for hanging out with me today and putting up with my craziness. And be sure to check out my Disney collection video or my puzzle haul so you can kind of get an idea of what to expect in the coming months. And be sure to subscribe so you can keep up to date with it. Anyways, guys, happy fall, and I'll see you next time. I still don't know where I'm going to put all these. I still have no space for these.